right, I'm going to show you guys how to root the HTC Droid Incredible 2. Um, first of all, take out your memory card and copy over Super User 3.0.7. So just copy that over. Now go back under your sorry, back to your Droid Incredible 2 folder. Um, just put put the memory card back in your phone first. So after you put the memory card in your phone, um, make sure you download a recovery that you're gonna use. I downloaded Clockwork Mod Touch, which is right there, 5.5. Um, go to HTC Dev Unlocked, um, and then go to Unlock Bootloader. Hit begin. Hit get started. Um, you have to be logged in, so make sure you are logged in. Go to select your device. Droid Incredible 2 for Verizon. This also works for almost every. Uh, oh, let's just log in like five minutes. Sorry, I'm trying to type at an angle, so this isn't not really that fast. Okay, so I've logged back in. Now go back to select your device. Go up to HEC Jordan Incredible 2. Make sure you pick the Incredible 2 Verizon one. Don't pick the Incredible S. Although they are the same phone, I'm not sure if it'll mess it up. Just check these. Pass that. So it says remove the battery so let's go ahead and do that just pull out the battery and put it back in now I'm just going to put the back back on um, hold volume down and power button at the same time until you get into HBoot as you can see I already unlocked my phone because it says relog but okay now I just put that well no after this is done if it when it's highlighted on fast boot hit power button now it should say fast boot up there and plug plug it in. Uh, <clears throat> and now it'll say a fast boot USB. And then just continue. I mean these these are pretty basic settings, so proceed to step five. Make sure you have ADB installed. I already have ADB and everything. So I'm just gonna skip this. Um type fast boot get OEM no, fa yeah, fastboot OEM get underscore identifier token. So we're going to hit back. We're going to move this over here. Okay, now just open up a command window. Type, I'm typing this is at an angle, so it's going to be kind of slow. So fastboot get OEM, wait, what, what was it? I forgot what it was. Fastboot OEM get underscore identifier token. Let me move this over here. Oh, I got it. Fastboot get OEM. No, fastboot OEM. So I already already messed up. Fastboot OEM get underscore. Sorry for being so slow. I then. To fire underscore token. Um, make sure you do this in something that has ADB, and then you you get that. Make sure it's see. So then you get that. So what you're, what you're gonna want to do is right click mark mark from here. Dang it. From there all the way to this one. There. Now I right click it and it should be saved. So let's go back to this. Let's continue. And see, it tells you start from there. And then, so we're going to right click, paste, submit, and token submitted successfully. Now I'll get a Gmail. Well, it depends on what you use to, like, get this. So if I go to my inbox, make sure there's nothing showing that's important here. 
and bring this over here. This is what the email is going to look like. There's there's an attachment right here. Unlock code dot bin. Just download this to your Droid Incredible 2 folder. That works. See, and now it is saved. So let's get that out of the way. And now that that's saved, we can exit out of that. Maybe I should have kept that open actually. Oops. Okay. Open. Uh, it's open over here. That's probably why. So we're going to bring this back over here. And as you can see, we have the unlock code. Oops. Right here. Uh, just click. So I'm going to do this the easy way. Press and hold shift and then right click and open command window here. Get rid of that. And then type fast boot. Well, I th isn't it just un unlock? I don't remember. I think it's just unlock. Click here to continue the process. So, save that and type fast boot flash unlock token. Yeah. Okay. So, fast boot. Flash on lock. Unlock token is a uh, one word on here. Unlock token. Unlock. If you hit tab, you should fill it out. Then press enter. Then you will get this on your own um, on your phone. Just press volume up to um, to say yes. Then press power. And it's going to read. This will wipe everything on your phone, by the way. Should, should have probably said that in the beginning. Now for Clockwork Mod, I'll, I'll also show you. It's relatively easy like once you have clockwork mod then just install super user and it's starting up so while that's doing that I'll just go ahead and show you what the type over here um, bring this back over. You can choose Clockwork Mod or a Twerp. Um, I'm just going to use this Clockwork Mod. This is the Clockwork Mod Recovery Touch. So go back to the command window. So, that way you kind of have something to look at. Let me fix that. Go to fast boot, type fast boot, flash, oops, fast boot, flash, recovery, R E. Um, just hit tab and it finishes. As you can see, that's the first one. If you hit tab again, it goes to the 5.5 one. Now let's go back to our phone. Um, just unlock it. Hit charge only. So this is going to go through the normal setup. SIM card is detected. Your device will switch. Just skip all this. I gotta wait for it to load. Um, just unplug your phone. Wait for it to load. So my problem with HTC phones, like sense takes so long to load. Um. Okay, English. Hit next. Skip. Skip setup. Next. Waiting for this. Next, next, next. Well, that was finished. 
same. Okay. Now once you get to this part, like you don't have to wait for it to load. Just just pour your pour your battery. You don't have to wait for this to load. Pour your battery out. Put it back in. Press and hold volume down and power. And then you get in the H boot. And as you can see up there, it says unlock at the top. On H, on fast boot, hit power after this just loads. Then connect to USB again. Now that it says fast boot USB, go back to your computer. Or you just type fast boot flash recovery, hit enter. This is a little bar on the side that shows you. Now we're going to do fast boot. You can just do this manually if you want. But fast boot, boot, RE, tab, hit it again because that's not the one you want, and then hit enter. And it's, this is going to boot clockwork mod. Unplug it real quick. Sorry. And this is going to boot clockwork mod recovery. This is, I don't, this is supposed to be the touch. Alright, just, but anyways, you can choose any recovery. Just go to install zip, press power, go to choose zip. Go to super user, right there. Press power. Go to install. Install from SD card complete. So we're, we're going to go back. And we're going to reboot system now. There, there you go. And you should have um, Super User in your app drawer. And once you have Super User, you're rooted. Just make sure if you dev unlock to fast boot flash the boot image. If not, you'll end up in a boot loop and. You don't really want that. Um, you you can't S off your phone. But I was just gonna show you this quick video on how to just get HTC Dev unlocked on your phone. Wait for this to load up. All right, so let's go to our app drawer. Um. Let's go down, and as you can see right there, we have super user. We're going to op open it up, click OK on that, hit menu. This is the easy, easiest way to save your area. Just go to preferences, and then down to the bottom, SU binary, tap update, and hit allow, and you are rooted. So that is how you root the HTC Droid Incredible 2 on Verizon Wireless.